Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. My name is Beautiful Dave Easton. I am back, and I am alongside the groovy one, Matt Rhodes, as always. Matt, it's good to be back on Raw. Yeah, welcome back, Dave. It's a long time. Glad yeah. to have you back. Indeed, I take over from one of the nice of Monday to fill in for us, but I am back after a couple of weeks away, and we are ready for another action-packed night of Raw. We are 13 nights away from the Elimination Chamber, and Matt... We have some Elimination Chamber match, qualifying matches coming up tonight. And one of them is Daniel Cage, Mark Rose in a street fight. It's about time for those two to actually work out their issues. It'd be nice to see a street fight between those two. You know it's going to go all over the arena tonight. Indeed, that is going to be your main event for Raw tonight. We have plenty more coming up. and But first off, we have got uh, Paul Heyman, who you know very well, Matt, apparently, as I've heard rumours. And Chris Jericho are going to talk in the ring. Uh, that is going to happen momentarily, as I speak, as they are now in the ring, ready to, to speak. And just going back, uh, Matt, I've heard a few rumours about you and Paul Heyman. Yeah, he came by uh, NXT on Saturday and we had a little chat, talking about teaming me up with some guy named Connor Rhodes on SmackDown. Well... Let us just see what he says. Is he, well, he's saying Chris Jericho is um, going to face five of the men indeed in the Elimination Chamber. And John Laurinaitis, who is still not here tonight, has advised that Chris um, can have a night off. Well, that's a bit weird, letting the, the champion have a night off. Well, it's good to give the champ a couple days rest and get him ready for the pay-per-view. Well, and... Well, there you go, Paul. Does he mean you? Sorry, but, um, Matt. Does Paul mean you there? Saying on this Saturday, he's going to tell the world the next Paul Heyman guy. Is that you? Oh, I don't know. We've never officially came up with anything, so we'll see. Well, what an interesting start tonight. Jericho gets the night off, but first up, we're going to have a triple threat match to determine the number one contender for the United States title. Christian is going to go up against Curtis Barnett and the big boss man. And who do you got in this one, Matt? Um, I'm looking for Curtis Barnett to kind of shine in this match. It's been a while since he's actually gone out for a title, so it'd be nice to see him change up and start getting back in the hunt for his next championship, hopefully. Well, or a championship, I should say. Indeed, triple threat rules, of course, in this one. First person to get a pinfall or submission will become the new number one contender. And Curtis Barnett and are we Megan, this thing I don't understand between these two. It's sort of a, a thing going on with Curtis Barnett and Megan. Yeah, ever since they got together, he's kind of lost his focus on the title belts or just even trying to get into any matches. He seems to just kind of want to hang out with her all the time. Indeed, and this guy, Christian, um, well, I thought he would have done a lot more in non-stop wrestling at the moment, but going for his, really, a first chance of a title if if he can pull a victory off here tonight. Yeah, definitely give him a boost if he can get this win. Christian, very popular with the non-stop wrestling universe. Um, just to go through there, if you are on the non-stop universe um, app, if you press what, if you go, you can vote, sorry, for the winner of this match. If you think it's going to be uh, Curtis Barnett, press 1. If you think it is going to be um, Christian, press 2. And if you think it's this man, a man Matt Rhodes knows very well, the big boss man, you just you need to press three, and we'll tell the results at the end of the of the match. Yeah, the boss man, he's a pretty good, strong p competitor. Um, he's going to be a decent fairing in this match, I think. Indeed, and boss man coming from NXT has done a lot in the recent weeks. Did really well in the Royal Rumble, um, and now coming through. And it looks like the NSW app, the universe, have said that they're all going for the boss man in this one. No, it definitely do good for him to get a win tonight. Indeed, especially if he goes for the... Remember, it is the fallen of the White family who will wait f um, to find out. Who, obviously, they'll face them at the Elimination Chamber. But what do you do with a triple threat, Matt? Do you trust anyone? Do you just... What do you have to do? Watch your back at all times? Yeah, pretty much watch your back and look for the openings and take your shots when you can get them. Well... As I say, it looks like everybody's just going to have a go against Christian. Christian coming back with some shots of his own here on Raw. I'm glad you could join us tonight. We are sold out at the arena tonight. Dave Easton, Matt Rhodes with you. As I say, look at this. Double DDT on the outside. And Matt, you've got to remember, that is not padded on the outside. 
No, there's just a thin layer of padding out there. It definitely hurts when you hit on that floor. And now they're taking this to the outside. Remember, triple threat rules in NSW, there's no count outs. So this can go anywhere with, with this triple threat match. And again, wouldn't like to be slammed on that um, rampway. Now that metal grating can really tear into your skin, especially if you slam, get slammed on your back. Well, boss man uh, now working on Kisswan. Look at that Kisswan, that comes back. Dropkick right to Christian. Bossman now trying to work over Curtis Barnett. And remember, no, in, in, as also in Triple Threat rules, no managers allowed to be out here at ringside. So that's why Megan is not out here. Also, Megan is getting ready for a Triple Threat match of her own uh, for the, to become number one contender for the women's title. That is a little bit later on as well. So much going on, Matt, in uh, for the raw side of NS, um, NSW. Remember, we've got qualifying matches for the Chamber coming up. And indeed, and also the so hardcore titles being defended tonight with uh, Ryback and against uh, Big uh, Giant Limbo. Indeed, the first defense for Giant Limbo since he beat Ryback back um, at on Sunday Night Heat before the um, the Rumble. Yeah, it'll be interesting how those two get it mixed up in this uh, uh, hardcore match. Indeed, especially as Ryback's debut here on Raw tonight after the trade last week, um, the draft bringing him over. Sorry, as Bossman. Uh, continuing here to work with Curtis Barnett but Christian stopping that before anything can go through uh, Rose going to continue ladies and gentlemen uh, we're, I'm just going for a quick commercial break we'll, and we'll be right back uh, remember to watch Non-Stop Wrestling Superstars a new show comes to you on Wednesday evenings it is 12 in the UK 7 in the East 4 in the West join myself um, and a guest uh, commentator will be on Superstars so there you go. And we're back. Dave Easton, Matt Rhodes with you at ringside for Raw. We're in the middle of a triple threat match to determine who's going to face the Fallen at um, the good old Elimination Chamber. And as I say, a lot of activity going on in the app tonight, uh, Matt. Um, and a lot of people, I'm very surprised that a lot of people are going on about um, Big Boss Man. How good, how, how good they, he's been since he came onto the main roster. Yeah, it seems like he's built his own little fan base coming off of NXT, and they seem to follow him all the way over to Raw. Well, look at this, and he's making sure that Curtis Barnett is introduced, and then Christian has a go at Curtis Barnett into the ring post. And I say, I wouldn't like to be uh, Curtis Barnett at this moment in time. No, it seems like he's taking the worst of this match so far. Oh, the boss man's grabbing a pair of steps and bringing him into the ring. And Christian, look at this, what is he doing here? Flapjack, oh yes! Cam Bossman though, looks to try and take advantage here. Christian's got to be careful. And then Christian all of a sudden into the cover, hooks the leg. Bossman, oh, just stops at a two. I thought the Bossman hadn't been able to get that. Yeah, it looked like Christian pushed him away and he just went right for the pin. So, big, big Bossman just kind of stood there kind of surprised. And Bossman with a big boot to Christian. As I said, it's, you've got to try and get one down and then manage to throw the other person I would say throw the other person out the ring try and get the pin here Curtis Barnett into the cover only gets a one on the boss man all men seem to be really taking a bit of a beating in this match so far yeah it's been a back and forth battle between all three competitors and look at this Christian oh there it is hits the kill switch on Curtis Barnett big boss man is out can Christian pick up the big victory here? Bossman gets up, isn't able to stop the pin, and we have a new number one contender for the United States title, and Christian has done it. And maybe this is the kickstart that he needed, Matt. Yeah, it's going to be a really good match between him and the Fallen at Elimination Chamber. I can't wait to see how that turns out. And Ian Christian has a big chance now of going for the United States title. But now this means he could be putting himself into trouble if he's now trying to mess with the Y family. Hey, you got to be careful because I'm sure Screwface will be hanging around nearby. So. Indeed, and but Christian, congratulations to him. You've got to say, big win for him tonight. But as you say, the troubles continue for Curtis Barnett. Yep, it's just back to the drawing board and hope for the next match. Indeed, and we're backstage with Boulder, who's got well. There you go, Bray Wyatt with him. And they're just talking about Christian being um, taken on the Fallen Elimination Chamber. But that is a good question. Where is Fallen and Screwface? We haven't seen him in a few weeks. I don't know. The Wyatt family are a very strange group of crazy people. 
And why you just saying that Christian has got himself into a lot of trouble here. And it is that he did he's gonna understand the power of the Wyatt family coming up at Elimination Chamber. You've got to think Christian will have it all to do, especially if the three members of the Wyatt family get their way against him. Yeah, I'd hate to be in Christian's shoes right about now. Well, moving on here, we go the first of our Elimination Chamber qualifying matches, and this is going to be an absolute great one. It's Biggie Langston, and he's going to take on Rob Van Dam. Power versus High Flying. This is going to be a great match. Indeed, and former United States uh, champion Biggie Langston now has a great opportunity to go for the world title and get into that elimination. And if you get Biggie Langston in the Elimination Chamber, that could cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, with his size and power, he, he could really hurt somebody up against that cage if you really throw him against it. And could you imagine Biggie Langston being the last man out of the Elimination Chamber, out of them pods, when you've been in there for so long? It's not going to be easy. No, definitely not. But Rob Van Dam, if he was one of the last ones in there, he could be a big, big surprise too for an uh, uh, Elimination Chamber match. Indeed, and this man, Rob Van Dam, a bit like Christian, I would say, Matt. He has sort of struggled here in non-stop wrestling. Yeah, he just hasn't seemed to find his footing yet, but I can see good things coming from him, especially in this match. I can see him definitely coming away with the victory. Well, let's see what happens. It's, this is going to be an absolutely great match. First qualifying match. One of these two men will get into the Elimination Chamber. Biggie Langston and Rob Van Dam. Let's see what happens with these two. And let's see if you if match right, if, if it's going to be the power of the high flying. And look at that straight away. Rob Van Dam, monkey flip, and going straight after Biggie Langston. What would be your kind of um, strategy, Matt, to go against someone of the size of Biggie Langston? Probably work on the legs. Definitely take the big guy to the ground, take away his power from his upper body, and then just hit him with high flying maneuvers and take him out from the ground up. Good strategy, especially, as I say, especially, as you say, the power of Biggie Langston. Nobody. I don't think if you get hit with that big ending, you're not getting. No, nobody ever gets up. Now that big ending is very powerful, and it definitely knocks the wind out of you. So, if Rob Van Dam gets hit with it, I don't think y'all can see him getting up after that. Well, Van Dam early control here over Biggie Langston. A bit of a surprise. As I say, trying keeping Biggie Langston on his feet though, which is a bit surprising as well. I see Rob Van Dam. Just like Christian as we're just saying, if he can get a win here. What a kickstart that will be to his non-stop wrestling career. But as you say, Big Langston, already two-time United States uh, champion, would had problems with the Y family over the last few weeks. Seems to have moved on from that. But as you say, yeah, I think he's I think he's looking to put that in his past and starting to move on, looking towards the championship. I think he's done with hanging on to the U.S. title. I think he's looking to go on to bigger and brighter things. Indeed, especially if he can get the as you see get into this elimination chamber. Thirteen nights away from the Elimination Chamber. Myself and Matt will bring you Sunday Night Heat and the Elimination Chamber on the 8th of September. Looking forward to that, which it should be an absolutely amazing event as we're just a few short months away from WrestleMania now. And, well, we all know the night after Elimination Chamber, Antonio Cesaro is going to tell us which title he's going to go for. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see which title he, he determines to pick out of uh, the heavyweight title or the NSW title. Indeed, and it is his choice. He does get to, to choose which one he wants since he can go in for the Royal, after winning the Royal Rumble. But now look at this, Biggie Langston now in control. Would it be a good strategy, Matt, to, to try and ground Rob, Rob Van Dam, especially with all the high-flying moves? Yeah, uh, it'd be definitely a good idea to get him on the ground. Well, Raw's going to continue. Uh, we'll be right back just after a short editing. And indeed, Nonstop Wrestling Elimination Chamber is on Sunday, the 8th of September. It will be myself, beautiful Dave Eason, and Matt Rhodes bringing you all the action from ringside. Make sure you join us on the 8th of September, our Twitch TV channel. And we're back. It is the first qualifying match for the Elimination Chamber. Biggie Langston and Rob Van Dam. And you've got to say, through the break there, Matt, Rob Van Dam um, slightly took control, which was a bit of a surprise. But Langston coming back with power moves now. Yeah, that power game starting to really come come in for Biggie Langston tonight. And Rob Van Dam, just think if he, as I say, I know we keep going on about it, but a lot of people have said th that Rob Van Dam should be a world champion. He has to start proving it. And that is a sort of a move that he definitely could put Langston away. 
Here comes Rolling Thunder. Yes, indeed, hits it perfectly. Into the recover, hooks the leg. Has he got Langston? No, two and a half. So close. No, but I think he's setting him up, getting ready to hit that five-star frog splash and get the win. Indeed. And the kick to the back of the head. Oh, but look at this, Langston. I don't know, eh? Gets the cover. Oh, and somehow manages uh, to kick out Van Damme. Nelly, um, Biggie Langston, sneaked a win there. Yeah, caught Rob Van Damme sleeping for a minute there. And as you see, Van Damme has to try and put Langston away. But look at this. The suplex into the pin. Has this got enough? No. Kick out again at one by Langston. Back and forth match, and the fans appreciate what these two are putting on. Good drop kick by RVD right to the head. Could that be enough to put Langston away? No, again, only a one count. Back and forth, that, but RVD's got to find some way to put Langston away. DDT, is this going to set him up? Where's he going now? He's thinking about it. He might be thinking of that. Here it comes. I think he's going for the five star. And he hits it perfectly. Center of the ring. Referee slightly out of position. Come on, ref. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. That's the three. And, well, Langston kicked out just after the three, but it makes no difference. RVD is your first qualifier for the, the Elimination Chamber. And he joins Chris Jericho, who is indeed the world champion. And there you go. What a win for RVD. Yeah, it's going to be amazing to see what he can do in the Elimination Chamber. And they're just having a quick check down the um, NSW app. And a lot of people are saying uh, that they thought Biggie Langston kicked out just before the, just before the three. Well, the referee called the match, so ref, what the referee calls stands. Well, there you go. RVD is your winner. Congratulations to him. And there you go. Let's move on as RVD picks up the win. As here is Ryback. And Ryback going to get ready for his match next and it is indeed the hardcore title match is coming up and it is giant limbo versus ryback this is it it is a rematch from sunday night heat before the um royal rumble which limbo took the title off ryback yeah, and it'll be ryback's first match here on raw from his move from smackdown and what a chance to regain the hardcore title become a two-time hardcore title holder and ryback who has got the support of the fans you can hear that here on Raw tonight and indeed but he has got a tough task ahead of him against Giant Limbo man's impressive right but this man shocked the world by winning the hardcore title um, down at the Royal Rumble and you've got to see a little bit of an attitude on Limbo tonight it looks like he's ready for this one. Yeah, I think the hardcore title has given him a definite confident boost, so may see him go for the world champion eventually one day. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, Limbo defending the hardcore title. I bet he didn't expect he would be facing Ryback in his first defense. No, but I think Laurinaitis picked a good match for the first match for Ryback to have on his debut on Raw. Indeed, giving him a shot to get the title, but let's see what we have here. Let's see if um, Ryback can indeed reclaim the title. Remember, hardcore rules, so um, pinfalls, submissions can help happen anywhere in the arena. The referee um, is only there to count the pinfall or submission to stop the match. These guys can do anything they want, and really, that's the kind of thing that um, really you could think falls into a giant limbo's favour. Yeah, he definitely seems the hardcore type. Like He definitely looks like he could brawl with the best of them. As Ryback trying to take Limbo down early on. Look, just look at the size of Limbo though, Matt. You've got to say Ryback is no small fella himself. No, but Limbo seems to tower over him. Limbo, I think Limbo will tower over a lot of people. I don't think there's not many people in this world where Limbo is smaller than. Um, but as I say, Ryback has a lot of power in him. If there's anyone that can stop Giant Limbo, it is going to be Ryback. Most definitely. Uh, Ryback's definitely a good competitor and he's got his work cut out though tonight. And look at this chop block by Giant Limbo trying to take Ryback off his feet doing it successfully. Ryback straight back up though. Remember, hardcore title is on the line. And it seems, strangely, nobody seems to be taking this to the outside yet. 
Yeah, they've been keeping it in the ring. I'm waiting to see some of uh, the hardcore elements enter this match. Indeed. I wonder how many people have bought guitars with them this week. I'm sure a lot of our fans brought some hardcore items for these competitors to use in this match. Indeed. It'll be very interesting to see, um, as I say, with um, Ryback. If Ryback wins the title tonight, or as I say, Limbo defends it. Because remember, the Elimination Chamber, the title must be on the line against a SmackDown competitor. So it'll be interesting to see if Ryback wins, um, if he can indeed defend it against one of these old people on SmackDown. Well, he'd be probably one of the better ones to go there to defend it against, because he'd at least know what the competitors on SmackDown will be like indeed. from being there. Indeed, as... Well, Ryback continuing to work over Giant Limbo here, which is, as I say, a bit of a surprise to Limbo not really getting into this match as much as I thought he would. And then yeah, he's starting to come back, though. Yeah, just as I say that, he proves me totally wrong by doing a belly to belly. And now continue on, reverses Ryback, the go behind... Oh, look at this. Uh, here we go to the outside. No, I thought we were going to the outside. Indeed. Viv Vought is going to continue, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Dave Easton, Matt Rhodes with you here on Raw. Make sure you join us for Nonstop Wrestling NXT on Saturday's night, 11 p.m. in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West, Mundo, and somebody else will be commenting on that one, I do believe. Um, please check um, later towards the day who it will be. And we are back. Dave Easton, back with you here on Raw, along with the groovy one, Matt Rhodes. Uh, Matt, just quickly uh, move, talking about yourself, a uh, big win for you on NXT this past week. Yeah, I got my big win over Heath he Slater, and hopefully I can get my chance at another title shot. And as we say, we're talking before, what's this with Paul Heyman? Is, are you this Paul Heyman guy? Can you give us an exclusive? Are you this Paul Heyman guy that he's been talking about? No, like I said, we we talked backstage at NXT, but nothing was solidified. We there was no contract signed, so hopefully maybe he may talk to me during the week. I know he was talking about having me come to uh, SmackDown this Thursday to talk to me a little bit more. So we'll see what that happens. What happens with that uh, meeting? Well, there you go. There is the thing for you. Is the key. Now we're on to the <coughs> other side. At least they didn't come near us there for a minute. There, I thought for a minute there they were going to come near us, but moving away. Still no weapons used so far, which is always um, a good thing for at least the for the competitor's sake. But Limbo kicked to the head of Ryback, and I can see that that must really hurt, if, especially a boot size 15 boot of giant Limbo in your face. Yeah, that'll definitely leave a print on the side of your head. And now look at this. Now they're starting to go for the we the weapons. As you can see, the fans are ringside, but again, competitors completely ignoring them here. Can stay in with the traditional wrestling moves, which is a bit surprised here in the hardcore environment which they're allowed to use them in. Yeah, I think they're trying to put on a good show for us tonight. I think they're trying to keep it nice and clean, just show that the hardcore wrestlers actually wrestle and not have to resort to hardcore weapons. It did, and just like that, <laughs> right back. Well, there you go. Well, I'm, wow. I'm sure I don't know if Limbo must have fell awkwardly. The referee hasn't put the X sign up, and we have a new hardcore champion. Which, well, I've got to say, Matt, I'm a little bit surprised. Very surprised. I, Ryback really came back and showed that he had the heart to win that title back. But you've got to see him, Matt, though. With this, I would like to see these two go at it again. Surely Limbo has got to get it. Maybe they could have another match before, next week before um, we get to Elimination Chamber. But surely Giant Limbo has got to get a rematch in there. Yeah, they definitely have to give him one more right before the pay-per-view. That'd be definitely a good idea for John Laurinaitis. Indeed, and backstage, well, these two men, Antonio Cesaro on your right, Cassius Ono on your left, they'll be having a big, big, um, well, they'll be watching, sorry, the next match, number one contendership for the tag team titles. That's coming up in part two. And remember, um, Antonio Cesaro, um, the Royal Rumble winner, gets, is in, definitely in the main event of WrestleMania. Yeah, could they be discussing which title he might be going for? Indeed. Who knows? It could be that or the title or their title defense. It looks like they had a little bit of an, a disagreement there. I wonder if, I would say if this thing's gone to um, Cesaro's head. We'll soon find out. But that is the end of Nonstop Wrestling Part 1 uh, for this week. Um, it, me and Matt Rhodes will be back for Part 2. If you're on our Twitch TV channel very shortly. If you're on YouTube, it'll obviously be in another part. Matt, say goodbye for Part 1. Goodbye, everybody. And we'll be back for Part 2 very soon.